1,000 plus days, seven wedding dates, three different states. I mean, this has been this has been a long time coming. So congratulations to Jordan and Molly. It's been it's been a long time coming. We are very glad to be here. wise words of Michael Gary Scott. Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as the fusing of two metals with a hot torch. Well, you know something? I think you two are two metals, two gold medals. Just watch me now. Just watch me. Just watch me now. I cannot believe we are all here finally celebrating the marriage of my beautiful daughter, Molly, and, and, and her husband, my son-in-law, Jordan. It's been a long, strange trip to get here, but we have finally arrived. Molly and Jordan were engaged on December 1, 2018, less than two months after the marriage of my middle daughter, Emma, to Ricky DeSico. While Emma and Ricky's wedding was in our hometown of Chicago, it really was a destination wedding as most of the guests were from, were from out of town. Molly, not to be outdone, uh, Molly, who, who was a little bit competitive as competitive streak in her, and Jordan decided to have a true destination wedding. And they could not have selected a site much better than this historic, beautiful, welcoming, and fun city of Savannah. What a beautiful day it is. You are so blessed with your families that love you so much and support you. Been there for you all along, haven't they? They have just been there, I can tell. And your many friends. They come together not to mark the start of a relationship but to acknowledge and strengthen the bond that already exists. Their ceremony is a public affirmation of that bond in the most pristine setting. And as their dearest family and friends, it is our honor and privilege to stand witness to this event. Now, I have to admit that Molly wasn't very forthcoming to me with Jordan. While Grace may have found out about Jor Jordan early, it wasn't until a couple of weeks prior to coming home from Easter that I heard about Molly's so-called boyfriend. So I did what all sisters do and creeped on his Facebook. And thanks to Jordan's public profile, I was able to determine that he was a Chicago sports fan, particularly the Cubs, and likes to have a good time. Seems like the perfect match for Molly. He possesses all the important qualities that make up a good husband. He is the calm to Molly's energetic personality. He's a loyal friend, extremely kind, thoughtful, dependable, devoted to his family. Not to mention, Jordan is extremely patient. <laughs> Baby. You look amazing. It's been a very stressful morning. Yeah. We're here. We're here. Woo! It's important to always cherish each other. God brought you together in his providential will before you even knew each other. He had you and you and mine for each other. I don't know, I don't know how that works, but it does. You are each other's comfort and refuge and your marriage is strengthened by your daily commitment of love. So, in so much as you two have agreed together in matrimony, you have promised your love to one another through the speaking and exchanging of vows it is my honor. Go ahead and hold hands. 
I pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jordan, you've been waiting for this. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Howard. glass to the newly married couple, Molly and Jordan. If you feel all right, put your hands up, put your hands up, put your hands up high. If you lost your shine, keep your head up, keep your head up, keep your head up high. I want to do something great. I want to take off your flight. Jordan, you are a great brother, a great friend. I truly appreciate our uh, connection together, and uh, I love you, and I'm so excited to celebrate this day with you. So congratulations. Welcome to the family, Molly. I'm so glad to add another sister to the bunch. You are a phenomenal sister. You are absolutely beautiful tonight. I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Be safe, everybody. We love you. Congratulations to this beautiful couple. Jordan, you are now officially part of the family, and we could not be more excited. By law, we are thrilled to call you our brother. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. 